Esteban. Hey, William. All I want to do is a zoom, zoom, and a boom, boom, and talk about Albania at the Eurovision Song Contest. 17 artists have been chosen by Albania to sing at Eurovision. Sadly, one of those, Ari Lena, never got a chance because Eurovision was canceled. And of the 16 who did compete, seven did not make the final. Should we go back and forth and name our favorite non-qualifier from Albania? Let's do that! Lord have mercy. We may be on Zoom, but I feel your fire. Now, Devin, let's quickly run through the seven artists who have not qualified. In 2006, it was Louise Ejili with Jarif Tona. What's that? <laughs> Jarif Tona. Don't remember it. Look, on no planet would those backing vocalists pass the vocal stakes, the fashion stakes. It was a no from me. He was like a wedding singer. I like the traditional instrumentalists. <laughs> 2007, Devin, Frederick Nadochi was saying, hear my plea. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, it was beautiful. It was very dramatic. Um, lots of gold. The violinist seemed to have gold glitter stuck in her eye, and she was like, ah! Loved that dress as well. Beautiful. 2011, Devin, you can already feel the fuego. Who is it? Kirsty Mamuya? No, it was Aurela Gassi with Feel the Passion. Oh, hi. Okay. Let me share my song with you. It was literally so hot. I thought her face was going to melt off. And like, we were in the front rows. We could feel her passion. Do you realize Aurela Gache has actually won the Festival of Kingas multiple times, Kinga Magique multiple times. She's been a special guest at Top Fest. She is a big deal in Albania. Living legend. So hopefully she'll go back to Eurovision eventually and claim what is hers. We move on to 2013, Adrian lugar Luraj and Bledar Sejko with Identitet, Identity. Uh, bring on the electric guitar. Yeah, th they stayed true to their country's musical traditions at Thick, so I give them that. I didn't like this, but I liked them. 2014, Hersey met Muya, and let's just say she had one night of anger. <laughs> One night of anger. Oh, one night in anger. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I liked the tattoo of the eagle on her back. Very patriotic. The song, it was good in Albanian, but in English. As with most of these, we'll soon discover. 2016, and that's why I love you. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Yes, it is Aneta Tarifa. Parale became fairy tale. She, of course, is one of our favorite queens in all of Eurovision ever, personality wise. Of all time. And you know what? Still, still very much in our lives. Love her. Love her. And finally. But do you love her fairy tale? 
Listen, I like to keep my discussions about Aneta cemented in reality, not in some fairy tale. But I will say this, we move on to 2017 to Albania's most recent non-qualifier. It was Ms. Lindida Halimi from Kosovo via Atlanta and Switzerland with the song- Bote! You better work that Bote girl. <laughs> All right, Devin, so those are the seven non-qualifiers. Now we need to go back and forth and name our runner-up and our favorite. So kick us off, who is your runner-up of these acts? I, I think I must say, uh, general note, this is a really weak field. There are just so many that I don't care for. I'll pick here my plea, 2007, as my runner-up, because I really like that. It had that sort of traditional vibe, really stellar vocals from both of them. Um, and yeah, although I don't really care for it, should I have qualified even? 2007, no, that was a really tough year. I think it deserved what it got, but hey, I have to pick two out of this bunch. That's my runner up. Oh my goodness. It's so interesting to hear that because I was, I was sort of on the fence with this one, but in the end, I went with someone else. I went with Orella. She is my runner up. Feel the passion. And the song for me, it, it, it Can was. Can you never... sing it, William? Sing it. with me. Just feel the passion. Okay. So, you know. Vaguely. I vaguely remember it. Memorable. What I remember is her. No. Vaguely remember it. I didn't say it was memorable. But she killed the song is the point. She owned it. She had this rock vibe, this diva power vibe. It fit with her style. She sold all of it. I don't like the song, but I think her delivery was very, very special. And all of that fire, the fact she could keep singing, even with all those flames kind of like shooting at her vocal cords, that is very, very impressive. And you know, Albania's staging is often very lackluster, very lackluster. And at least she managed to bring something. But yeah, you know, and I, th I thought she had a very fiery music video. There was perspective. It was all very hellish. But our girl was feeling the heat. I like her more recent hits, like, um, You know, she's good. Albanians love her. She crosses over between like doing the more folklore stuff you know, and then into this sort of electro modern stuff. Yeah, I like I like her energy. Actually, we had dinner together a while back, um, about two years ago, and she was just like this ball of fire and entertainment. She's a great person. But Devin, should she have qualified? Yeah, you know what? I wasn't feeling it. <laughs> That's a no. All right, so now it is time for us to each name our favorite non-qualifier from Albania. Devin, take it away. Oh my God, actually, I, this, the first time I fell in love with this, this song, I love it so much, by the way, the very first time I fell in love with this song, you had recorded, you were filming this song and you didn't realize you pressed the record button and you were going, yes, Auntie! What, now what I had I been ah! on? You're a in concert. You were filming Lindita Halimi yeah. walking to the stage and you were going, yeah, can you cue, whoever's editing this, can you cue that little clip where you're screaming it? It's Albania, people! So I don't remember this happening, but it sounds very believable. Ain't nothing fishy about this. Ain't nothing fishy about our girl. She is also my winner in terms of <laughs> package. Now I've got to say, Aneta Tarifa, 
brought so much. And I think that the problem was not her, the problem was the staging. And so that's why I've had to disqualify her. Her vocal was on point, her beauty was on point, but the staging, there was no staging. She was dressed as an Oscar statue, just on an empty stage. And so that's why I've had to disqualify my girl, Aneta, who I love. So when we go back to Lindita, that 17, 19 second note, Are you kidding me? That was epic. Never before, perhaps never again. The staging was dire again, but that's not her fault. It's not her fault, but at least with this staging, you know, they had movement. It was very Of Mice and Men, spaceship kind of music video. There was some, I don't know what inter, intergalactic warfare spaceships has to do with her beauté, her world, but um, yeah, she sold it vocally. Well, I, I mean, you know what, William, can we just talk about her voice? I mean, oh, honey, <laughs> Latvia has its supernova, but Lindita has her supernova, and it comes from within, from the diaphragm to the throat. She is letting it all hang out. I mean, she's she's just ready to vocally slay. I mean, those notes, I kind of feel like Lindita. It's only a rehearsal. Like she is gunning for it unbelievable yeah i do think sometimes maybe like when they were writing that song you know not the best song but it showcased her voice which is among the best voices i just wish they had calibrated that better maybe given her a slightly if she had had a stronger song she would have gone to the final no doubt based on her vocal power but i think you both know, I, mm, I slightly disagree i i think that song was really compressed and condensed and to fit into this three minute eurovision studio cut but as we discovered at the Wee Wee Jam, where she just let it all out, it just flows so naturally. And let's not forget that um, World is actually her composition. Bote was the, um, the Festival of Kungis's, um, you know, I prefer the Albanian, to be honest. I, I think it's- I prefer the Albanian as well. More mystery, more, um, you know, she's a native Albanian speaker and that passion comes through, that fire. I mean, she's obviously amazing at English. I'm not trying to say that, but I just think it felt more authentic and mysterious to those of us who are not from Albania. Do you know what I mean? And ultimately at Eurovision, you're trying to court foreign voters. And I think the mystery added a lot. Yeah. Well, that, that, that I mean, her voice for me just kind of, and, and I think that my judgment may also be slightly biased just because I cannot get over Lindita Halimi's voice. I think her voice just, grips me so tightly. A voice for the millennia. A voice for the millennia. Question, should it have made the final? I think so, actually. I think that, you know, you, you, Eurovision, Eurovision is, is a sum of many parts, but I think, you know, vocal ability should really be rewarded. And I feel that, yeah, I'm not saying it should have won Eurovision, but you're talking picking 10 and it's semi? Are you kidding me? Absolutely. That should have gone through. And also, she was amazing on the publicity tour, the PR trips. Our interview at Eurovision in concert is among my favorite ever. She's so real. She's so honest. She's serving that ATL authenticity. Flipping that state blue. Our girl, Salais. I bet you had a ball in Atlanta. You know, I was born at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. You, he brings the naughty out of me. I swear I'm a good person. She's a naughty girl. Yes. I feel like I I forgot the lyrics. Yeah. And do you remember when we were chatting with her in, um, in Tirana in, in a car when suddenly like she, she phoned one of our friends? Yeah, it was great. It was, it was amazing. Great. It was absolutely amazing. We were in the car. She was in Atlanta. We're on the streets of Tirana having this call on the road. Just, just so magical. Magical. <laughs> in any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Who of What's the your, before you go, I know you've picked two. You feel that Aurela Gace and um, Lindita Halimi should have qualified. But do you think that there was also room for the others? Or do you think those are the only two? Did you struggle with this list? To be honest, I don't know if I would have put 2011 to the, into the final. To be honest, I didn't struggle. 
I didn't struggle. I, I think this is a weak selection, but it's not because of the vocalist. It's a, the combination of staging mostly um, and song. I just think it's a weak, I understand why these seven acts didn't make it. I, there's no one night of anger for me. Like I'm not angry about it because I get it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Ain't no anger. Hersiana Mamuya, a brilliant singer, a brilliant singer, very beautiful, charming actually. It's just the song in English. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were saved by the eagle. Listen, I love a good tattoo. I love a good tattoo. Love her patriotism. Lo loved it. At the end of the day, I'm voting with this mostly. Mostly. And then this can wow me. But I don't vote like this. I vote like this. You see what I'm saying? I don't vote like this. I vote like this or like this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. But I love my girl, Hersiana. I'll never forget our... Yeah, go on. Do you remember ESC Ramadan? <laughs> wee wee blogger explaining it. Or zeros. So binary. Like, never anything in between. Hey, strong opinions. Gotta respect it. But he loved Hersiana Mamouya. That, that <laughs> passion is like, it was the first time I saw how passionate Albanians are about music. I love that. You've seen it, you know, at Festival Ikungis and at Kogamajik. It's beautiful. There's passion. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you think that 2020 would have been on the non qualify list had we done this next year? We'll, well never know. Ari Lena has revealed her birdcage. She was going to drag out that birdcage from a music video. She's performed in the streets of Tirana in this elevated birdcage. And um, yeah, it was a cute idea. At the end of the day, it was borderline, I think. It was borderline. She's a master vocalist, but I don't know if, you know, the birdcage would have slayed. Okay, I know why the caged bird, cage bird sings, but I'm not sure if she would sing her way to the final. I am saying one flute over that cuckoo's nest. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Do you think any of these seven non-qualifiers should have been qualifiers? And which were your favorite? Let us know in the comment section down below. And guys, we are on Pinterest. I've got to tell you, we are on Pinterest. <laughs> that's fake news. I demand a recount. I'm going to the Supreme Court. We are not active on Pinterest. But we do appreciate you following us, and we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.